What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're tackling an open tag from friend of the channel, J.O. Ventures Outdoors, and I will link to his original video on this open tag in the description of this one, so make sure to show him some love. He asked to see our favorite knife and slip combinations, and I originally wasn't planning on tackling this open tag, only because I have started to accumulate a decent number of slips, but I don't have enough where I can have one slip dedicated to a specific knife, so I tend to just choose a knife in the morning, find a slip that it will fit in, and then if it matches, great, but I haven't gotten to the point where I'm ordering slips with specific knives in mind, although I would like to get to that point and especially order some custom ones for specific knives. But the reason I eventually decided to respond is Randy's WSG posted his response, and I'll link to that in the description as well. Make sure to check that out too. But in the comments of that one, he mentioned that he'd love to see my take on this response, so I figured why not? Great way to show off a couple different leather workers. You'll see a lot of repeats in terms of brands, but a lot of different styles in the slips that I chose. And so let's go ahead and dive in. I tried to choose the knife that I most associate with each slip, but again, I tend to carry four or five different knives in each of these slips, and so it's not set in stone. So first off was the obvious choice, went with Randy's WSG. He recently got into leather work and he even made this bead on here, which I think is a very cool touch. And love this slip, it's a looser one, which is nice because you can put wider or thicker knives in here, two, three layer knives in here, which don't fit in a lot of my other slips, which tend to be a little bit on the tighter side. So I love that about it. It also just has that sentimental value, which it was made by a friend and I'll always cherish that because of that. And so when I was trying to choose a knife, for this one, since it's so versatile, I tend to carry different knives in here, but there was one that immediately jumped out as one of Randy's favorites as well. And I just, when I see this knife, he's one of the people that I think of. And that's the Rosecraft Blades, a Koei River Kayak. Beautiful knife, a little bit controversial because of that blade shape, but can't deny just how beautiful it is. They do an excellent job on the stain. Love that rosebud shield. And I love the look of this knife, and I know Randy does as well. And so it seemed like the obvious choice for that slip. Now moving from one friend to another, my buddy Brandon has a leather company called Everyday Adventure Co. And I have a ton of his slips. Not all of them are even going to be included in this video because I have so many. But I went with this one because it's one of my favorite leathers that he uses. Love camo and just an excellent print. But he does different colors, different threads, and things like that as well. Now I tried to go with just a matching knife for this and went with probably one of my favorite slip joints of all time, the Boker Club knife and this is a Solingen Germany made with that beautiful spear point blade in N690 and just an excellent knife. I think it matches the slip well. I have two different versions of this knife. I like it so much but this one definitely matches this particular slip a little bit better. So from there, and I will link to all of these in the description, so if you want to order a slip from them, you definitely check out that description. I don't think I have an affiliate with any of these companies, just all ones that I like to support. And so next up is Epoch, and this is his extra small coffin slip. I need to get a larger one because I love this slip so much, it has the scroll and, scroll and crossbone stamp on it, but it is smaller, which is nice because I don't have a lot this small for those smaller knives, and so to have one that can hold a small knife without it just slipping out is nice. I I went with probably the biggest one that actually fits in here, the Notorious EDC Kingpin, another of my favorites, one of the slip joints that got me into slip joints. This is a modern, like most of the ones you're going to see in this video, but it really got me into traditional slip joints as well, and that all murdered out version just seemed like a perfect match for the coffin slip. And on the back, we do have that maker's mark, so you can see that there as well. And I have a few of his slips as well that we're going to see in this video. So next up is the newest addition to the collection. This one from Sage Grouse Leather. And absolutely beautiful. These are expensive, but well worth the cost. These are hand tooled with these intricate designs. I can't even imagine how long these take. This is a red dot swirl version and absolutely love it. Now I got this one from Jack Wolf, although he sells them separately. So it does say Jack Wolf knives on here, but he sells them on his site without that. If you just like this pattern available in a couple different colors as well. Also the knife that I went with, he makes one specifically for that knife. But again, I just wanted something a little bit more versatile. I didn't want to be locked into carrying one knife in that slip. And so I went with, and this is a tighter one because because it's brand new, the Vampire Jack from Jack Wolf Knives all murdered out as well with that black DLC blade and bolster hardware, all of that beautiful knife and matches the slip quite well. And I don't think this is gonna be my last from Sage Grouse Leather. I absolutely love this tool design on here. 
that fits in there nicely as well. Another kind of Jack Wolf specific, but from Northwood's leather. And so he also makes his own slips. This one he made for Jack Wolf knives. And I believe they call this the ghost leather. Really cool. It has this base layer of red. You can see the leather itself is red. And then they stain it with this coating that's very lightly stained. And so it patinas very quickly. You can see it starting to take color around the corners of the knives. And then it also just scratches up really easily. And for some people that would be a negative, but for me, I just love the way that looks and so I think this one's really cool. My only Northwoods leather slip so far, another one that I will most likely pick up more in the future. Now I don't have any red jack wolf so the raw titanium ones and the black ones make the most sense for this slip and this does tend to be a tighter one. You can see it's kind of similar to Randy's but tighter where Randy's gives you a little bit extra material to put larger knives but in there I have the sharpshooter jack in the jigged titanium. So let's get that one back in there and then we'll move on to our GEC small slip. And they have this one available in small or large. I can see that's not gonna stay there, so I'll give up on that, but available in small and large. This is the small size one. And this also is pretty small, but there are a lot of small GECs out there, so it just works. I need to get a, a large one as well, but so far I only have the small. They're also not that big a difference in size. But in here I have my favorite GEC, the 56, which is the dog leg pattern. This one in the avocado jigged bone and also has that nice spear point blade on there. Absolutely love this knife. Like I said, my favorite GEC in my entire collection. Also happens to be the first GEC that I ever got. And so that one does tend to be the one that's most carried in this, but since there are a lot of smaller GECs, some other ones make their way in there as well. And so next up is another Epoch Handmade. This one has no maker mark or anything like that. And it's somewhat unique. You can see this looks like pretty old leather. And that's because this was made from a used baseball glove. And so for that reason, the knife that most associated with it was this GEC 14. And well, if, if I can get it out of there. And this is the Beer Cub. And you can see it has kind of a similar color, but more importantly, this one has that cap lifter. And so thinking of watching a baseball game, having a beer, just seemed like a natural pairing. And this is made for smaller knives. I think he was kind of limited based on the size of that glove. And so definitely fits smaller knives well. And the 14 is a very compact knife. So obvious choice for that one as well. Now this next one is another repeat. We have Everyday Adventure Co. And this is a really cool one that he was kind of prototyping. Just wanted to try out and see if it was something people might be interested in. And it's one of my favorites that he's made. The colorway is very unique with that really rich blue green color and then the yellow threading but this one also has that pocket clip which i really like since most of the slip joints aren't going to have a pocket clip i tend to drop these slips in my fifth pocket but this one you can just clip right on your pocket now also a smaller design so i went with a super slim knife on this one the tactile turn bear or bexar it's pronounced bear but spelled bexar and this one is just impossibly thin if you've never handled one you should definitely check it out it's a very cool knife obviously this one's an old them, which was a limited run I think of about a hundred. Now that's all of the knife slips that I chose out. I probably have about 20 more but I wanted to keep it somewhat short. But another thing that I really enjoy, so I'm kind of adding to this open tag a little bit, is slips made for specific objects. And so I have a few of those here as well. One more from Epoch, and you can see this has his maker's mark. And you can see this one has a target on it. I believe he calls it center mass, made specifically for a pair of Nipex extra small pliers. This one does have a button clasp, which I'm gonna pull off screen because it can be a little bit difficult to undo, but it fits in those Nipex pliers perfectly. And I absolutely love that center mass shape of the slip and so just a really creative idea love seeing that from him don't know if he's going to do more of these a lot of them he'll do small runs of them like the glove he made as many as he could from that specific glove but obviously pretty limited in materials and so they're kind of smaller runs but he does tend to repeat the popular patterns in different leathers and stitching and things like that another item specific one this one for the jrw judge this is from gsd only slip i have from gsd but i just love the way this one fits in there made to hold that judge which is a bottle opener you can pop a bottle with the corner here but also a decision maker so if you're trying to choose your knife or who pays for drinks whatever the case maybe this spins and helps you make that decision points your turn to whoever it chooses and so I thought this one was really cool as well 
Now these next couple are all made for a beer bomb. Two of them made by my buddy Brandon at Everyday Adventure Co. You can see this one has the black DLC beer bomb. This one has the natural micarta. But uh, just a couple more examples of the types of materials that he works with. This one has the channel logo lasered in on the back and is using that red camo. This one is a Segeha pattern all lasered in as well with the blue stitching. He made me a matching wallet and dog tag slip which holds those Grim Workshop dog tag tools for this one. So I have a whole matching set of this blue Segeha which I think is very, very cool. No, another one, this one from Redeemed Creations. I pre-ordered this one from Notorious EDC directly. Has another beer bomb. This is the original titanium, which again is in there a little bit tight. So I'm going to move it a little bit off screen to pull it out, but fits the beer bomb perfectly. And it's cool because they're made for a specific tool. They're always going to be a very, very specific fit. This one also has a similar leather to the one we saw on that Everyday Adventure Co. One more well, actually two more Everyday Adventure Co. This is another one that's made for a beer bomb though. And what I actually found out, I only have so many beer bombs, but I found out this fits Zippos perfectly. And so it's just the coolest little Zippo holder. Right now I have one of my Tobacco Tactical Zippos in here. And you can see that's also in a camo, although a non-matching camo, also in camo. And I just think it's really cool that it fits in there perfectly, protects your Zippos, and yeah, just a neat way to carry them. Last but not least, this one's not really a slip. It's more a pocket organizer. This is called the Expedition from Everyday Adventure Co. This is currently sold out, but I know he has the Expedition Light in stock right now, and I'm sure we'll see these in the future as well. But this one really carries a majority of your EDC. So we have a pry bar in here in this larger section. We have a big eye design pen in the pen slot, a CWF micro click. And the cool thing about this is it fits an i5T as well as well as some other AA battery based flashlights, but you can actually use it in the slip itself. And so don't even need to take it out in order to use it. And then a nice slot for a knife on the back, which we have the Serge Penchenko Slip 7 in the Stonewash Titanium, another of my favorites. And so that rounds out my list. Would love to hear your thoughts on it down in the comments below. And if you have a favorite leather company, anyone I should check out, definitely let me know. One thing I want to do is get into a lot of these YouTube channels, Make Leather, JO Ventures included, reach out to them, maybe get something custom done for a specific knife. And Similar to the Everyday Adventure Co. and the Randy's WSG slips, it just has a little bit more meaning to me when you get it from someone you know or regularly communicate with, and I think that's something that's super cool, so something I'd like to do more of in the future. But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, or joining the channel as a member. And as always, I hope you have a great one. Take care.